Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, August 22nd, and it is a rainy day here in southeastern Pennsylvania, but it's good to be home. Uh, I was on vacation all last week uh, in Pittsburgh, visiting the in-laws, left Monday morning, uh, just got back late last night. Wonderful to sleep in my own bed again. I'm a happy guy. We had a great time though. Clafter Savinelli from my dear friend Couch. Thank you so much, Couch. And uh, Smoking Haunted Bookshop. I, this is first pipe of the day. I gotta tell you, I'm not firing on all cylinders. Uh, just woke up this morning, was happy to be home, and I was just kind of sitting there drinking coffee, and I thought, oh, Pegasus, I forgot. Because I've been smoking nothing but Haunted Bookshop since we were traveling. That's all I took with me. And... I was going to, you know, we, we saw some sites, I took some pictures, I was going to put together like a little slideshow thing, and I didn't. So uh, maybe later in the week I'll do something, but right now I'm just kind of exhausted from the travel. And, you know, just wanted to check in and say hello. But I did make one short video on the way home, uh, and hopefully this will play, and uh, if so, I will insert it right now. And if that didn't work, um, sorry, <laughs> I, I haven't looked at the video yet. It's on my phone, so I'll have to pull it off, put it on the computer, see how it looks. But the point of that video was, uh, and I need a little explanation anyway. Uh, before I left on Monday, I put a picture on Instagram of my jar of haunted bookshop. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm leaving on the trip. I've got my jar of haunted bookshop full and I've got a pouch uh, that I've filled and that's all the tobacco I'm taking. Will I make it? Well, some people, Mr. Everett Young, some people thought that that was just not possible and that I would have to supplement and everything. Well, as you saw in the video, I did quite well. And this is the jar. And you can see that is still half full. I could have gone another week. <laughs> I love you, Everett. Everett, if you don't know Everett Young, he's a great guy. Uh, I'll link to his YouTube channel down below. And uh, he... We, we've been teasing one another about haunted bookshop consumption uh, for quite a while now. And it's good. It's all good. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the haunted bookshop. I've got some coffee, 8 o'clock. haven't had this in a while. I have to admit, the hotel we stay at in Pittsburgh, it's called the Hampton Inns, Hampton Inns Waterfront. They got good coffee. Um, I do a 50-50 mix of their decaf and dark roast, and it's it's smooth. It's very nice. I enjoy that. So that was one thing I did not have to worry about. And it's great because it's right on the river, and there's a trail that goes for miles. I think it actually goes all the way into the city, because we're, we were actually in Homestead, if that means anything to anyone along the Monongahela River, but I think this, this will actually take you all the way down to the to the confluence, the point where the rivers meet. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, Pittsburgh is uh, called Three Rivers City because uh, the Monongahela and the Allegheny come together and form the Ohio River, and that place where they form the, the, the Ohio, the place where the Three Rivers meet is called the point or the confluence, and that's sort of the center of Pittsburgh. Well, not really, but it's it's in Pittsburgh. <laughs> anyway, I, I I grew up in Philadelphia, which is a grid. You know, in Philadelphia, if you, if you're at Second and Market and you need to get to Twelfth and Walnut, you know exactly how to get there. You don't need a map. You don't need anything. You just need to know which streets run north south, which streets run east west, and you take off. Uh, Pittsburgh isn't like that. Pittsburgh has streets that cross themselves more than once. I mean, it's it's crazy, and it's because of the mountains and the hills and everything. You know, it's not a flat grid. It can't be. And you know, I, I spent six years in Pittsburgh. I loved it. And uh, my wife, of course, grew up there, so she knows it like the back of her hand. And I'm I'm constantly lost, and constantly surprised. Like, wow, we've driven really far away. Wait a minute, there's that thing there that. I <laughs> How did that happen? Um, because there's there's all these twists and turns and ups and downs. And it, it's crazy. 
anyway, we're, we, we did go down to the confluence is where I think I was getting, um, and saw some sites there. We, we, we intentionally went there because we wanted to see one particular thing that I'm going to save for another video. But while we were there, it was Thursday night. All of a sudden it got really dark. Uh, it was going to rain and there was a little bar, uh, called, well, it wasn't a little bar. It was a huge bar called, uh, Tequila Cowboy. <clears throat> and we wound up running into that. Uh, it was practically empty. There were maybe like five other people there. And we could sit at this bar that w was actually like the bar ended right where the sidewalk began. But then there was this big awning that went out. So we got to sit there with the rain pouring down behind us, perfectly dry. Uh, ate some unhealthy but delicious food. And uh, I had some gin and tonic because their draft system wasn't working. And my wife had some... Uh, vodka cranberry which is her drink of the moment and uh the rain stopped and we went away quite contented so that was a good time the staff there was wonderful if you're ever near the uh near heinz field in pittsburgh uh near i forget what the baseball stadium's called but near there it's between the two uh wonderful food wonderful uh drinks and fantastic staff so tequila cowboy check them out non-paid endorsement. They don't even know I'm doing this. Yeah, so we did all that. Spent time with the in-laws. It was my father-in-law's uh, 20th, uh, 20th, 90th birthday. <laughs> and uh, he, he seemed to have a good time. You know, he's one of these guys that can be kind of grumpy about stuff and you know, he was like, I don't want no birthday. And, and, you know, then once it started, he was like, yeah, I'm kind of liking this. <laughs> By the end of the, the, the birthday period, he was quite happy. And then spent some time with him on Friday, did a little bit of yard work for them. And my wife and her sisters were helping clean out some stuff that had accumulated over the years. And, you know, there was all this, like, family memory type stuff and all. It was kind of nice. We came home with a trunk load of books that we really don't need, but some of them are cool. One of them I'm going to actually show you in a video. Uh, so that's another future video, but sorry to tease. I, I just, I, this, I don't know enough about this one to even talk about it, but I think it's going to be really cool. Non-pipe related. Um, yeah, so that was, that was our, our vacation in a, in a very small nutshell. And, uh, like I said, I'll probably do something. I've got some pictures that are kind of funny and, and some, some that are just kind of nice to look at and a little bit of history and, and stuff like that. I might put together a video about that, uh, but it's not going to be today. So what else is going on here? Got home. Oh, did I mention this? This is the second time I'm recording this video because the first time I forgot to record it. So I don't know if I talked about this already. If I did, I will cut the section out. But while we were gone, we had a darn tornado come through just like three blocks away from my house. It just it apparently took out some houses. I, I have to go back there and, and look. Uh, I haven't been since we got in late last night. But uh, yeah, a true like E2, I think was the category tornado. Never had one in this town before. That I'm aware of. Uh, so that was a little worrisome, but we, you know, I looked quickly this morning because it is raining. It doesn't look like there was any damage. We don't even seem to have any down limbs for, off of trees or anything. So that's good. My vegetable garden survived. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Uh, although I think I got the last of the tomatoes and those weren't that many. Uh, we'll see. But we do have some nice peppers coming in. Well, folks, I don't want to take up too much of your Sunday morning, uh, other than to say um, it's good to be back. I, uh, I I missed you guys. I want to give a big thank you to Skip Kane, who uh, filled in for me on Friday. I have to apologize to Skip. I thought he was going to be doing his Friday night live stream on the Steph and Skip Kane channel, and he actually did it on his own uh, Parik Piper Skip channel. So I promoted the wrong channel. I hope you guys found him, uh, and I haven't had a chance to, to watch yet. I'm sure Skip did a fantastic job, though. And uh, if you guys haven't found it, I'll tell you what. I'll link to that video, his Friday night live stream from this past Friday, 
down below. I'll link to that. I'll link to Everett Young because Everett Young is my buddy. But I'll link to Skip's uh, video. Check out both of them, but definitely give Skip a sub and watch the Friday night video because uh, if you missed me on Friday, Skip, I'm sure, did a fantastic job of substituting. And, uh, you know, might might be somebody you'd rather see on Friday nights. And, you know, we can negotiate that. Just kidding. Um, I think that's everything. I, oh, I just wanted to say I really appreciated all the folks at the uh, Columbus Pipe Show who posted uh, updates on Instagram and videos and everything. I, I greatly enjoyed that. Uh, I wish I could have gone next year. And I'm going to try really hard to get to uh, Richmond, uh, which is October 2nd, I believe. So we're going to put that on the list. So probably going to do nothing today. I'm tired. I just want to kind of be a vegetable, enjoy my pipe and coffee, and uh, wait for my wife to eventually arise. She told me that <laughs> while we were driving home, you know, when you spend... 24 7 with someone you start to you know, get a little and uh you know we love one another everything's fine but you know she i said you know i'm thinking maybe it'd be a good idea if i spent some time in the basement on sunday and she said i think it would be a good idea if you spent the day in the basement on sunday and don't wake me up so <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna honor that as much as possible and uh, let her sleep in because she she had a rough uh, rough time as well. You know what? Well, not a rough time, but you know how family is. It's always stressful. All right, folks. I babbled enough. Um, I hope you all enjoyed your week as much as I enjoyed mine. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday and looking forward to a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.